Putting God first can be difficult. In this video, we'll explore what we can learn from Ruth that will help us put God first in our lives today. Now, Ruth was not an Israelite when she was born. She grew up as a Moabite and probably worshiped Chemosh, the fish god of the Moabites. Chemosh was also known as the destroyer. In 2 Kings 3.27, we see the king of Moab offering his son and heir as a blood sacrifice to Chemosh. Now, it's possible that Ruth came to worship Jehovah long before her life began to go downhill. Naomi, her mother-in-law, spoke of Jehovah the loving God of the Israelites, who rescued his people from slavery and called them to love and respect one another. In a sad and dark turn of events, Naomi lost her husband and two sons within a decade. Her daughters-in-law, Ruth and Orpah, were devastated. The situation was desperate. Naomi decided to return to Israel and suggested that both daughters-in-law went back home. Orpah eventually agreed to go, but Ruth refused. Even at this darkest hour in her life, she didn't blame God for her circumstances. Instead, she put God first in her life and insisted on traveling with Naomi to continue worshiping Jehovah. Ruth said to Naomi, her mother-in-law, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Life may be difficult for you right now. Putting God first doesn't guarantee that our lives will be easy, but it does mean we will find peace and salvation. Ruth ended up finding a loving husband and joined the people of God. Oh, and here's something you might not know. Ruth had the honor of becoming a direct ancestor of Jesus himself the savior of the world. Ruth put God first, and her example compels us to do the same. 